Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tando Hadebe, for all those who don't know me yet. I'm a nursing student and on this channel I talk about nursing and a lot of other fun stuff. So if you are interested, please make sure to subscribe and like this video. You got me feel myself, you got me feel myself. So today I will be talking about PEP as you guys could tell from the title of this video and PEP is similar to what I talked about in my previous video. If you haven't seen it, please make sure to check it out. I will link it down in the description box. So it is similar to PrEP. These are actually two different treatments that do the same thing, which is prevent HIV. So PEP stands for post exposure prophylaxis so this is the treatment that you get after being exposed to hiv post exposure so you get it to prevent yourself from being infected yes you've been exposed but you are not yet infected so it's like you still have a fighting chance against the virus so when exactly are you exposed you are exposed after being sexually assaulted because most of the times um, women are assaulted by strangers you don't know the status of that person they could be positive or negative you need to go to the clinic as early as possible to get help and get pep in case you were exposed you are also exposed if you had unprotected sex with someone you do not trust and this goes for um sex workers because i personally feel like those are the people who are at a higher risk of getting hiv and another example would be after being pricked by a used needle especially in the hospital for doctors nurses doctors and nurses and everyone who works with needles so for epep to work for you first of all it must be taken within 72 hours of exposure or after exposure that's three days if that period passes there's a high chance that it will not work there's a high chance that you will be infected if you really were exposed so you need to make sure that you take it within that period okay within that period to make sure that you up your chances of fighting or of not being infected so it is a 28 days treatment you must take it as prescribed i cannot stress this enough guys you must take it as prescribed and that goes for all medication you need to make sure that you, you take your medication as prescribed for it to work because there's a reason why they say you take it twice a day there's a reason why that they say you take it every day and you need to finish the course of treatment again so it's important to take your medication and specifically to this video PEP as prescribed to lower your chances of getting infected and then the most common side effects include fatigue headache diarrhea insomnia but remember this is a short cause of treatment so the symptoms or so the side effects will go away as soon as you finish your treatment and then this is what happens after you finish your treatment you need to go for an hiv test they will test you for hiv because they need to know if the treatment worked or not because if you test positive after you finish your PEP treatment, then you need to be on AMA ARVs as soon as possible. So that's a very important part after you finish your treatment to be tested so that you can be started on ARVs in case you were infected. So the easiest way to differentiate between PEP and PrEP is to like, remember that in PrEP you get it before you are exposed and then it helps you prevent yourself from being infected. Whereas e pep you get it after you have been exposed and then still helps you prevent yourself from getting HIV even though there's a higher chance that you are infected but you know there's still a fighting chance again so I could compare it to um contraceptives you know most um a morning after pills and your normal contraceptives um epep would be like your emergency contraceptives and prep would be like your normal contraceptives that's basically how it works it must be taken within a certain period of time where else with contraceptives you can just decide when to stop and that's that's that goes for prep you can just decide when you want to stop it 
So that was it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, comment down below if you feel like I left something out. But from me, Utsendo, that is it for today. Bye bye.